Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon, I should say. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hope you guys had a good weekend. All right, so today what I'd like to do, we're in week five, and I want to start an activity today to give us an opportunity to practice some reading strategies, a note-taking strategy, and relate it to our topic for our next unit, which is drug cultures. Okay, and today what I'd like to do is share with you a reading from a website. And in this group activity, I have the teams listed here in, in Canvas, if you want to take a look at that. But uh, let me go over some of the tasks here for, for today's activity as it relates to taking notes using uh, Cornell notes and giving us a chance to practice some of our uh, reading strategies. So the first step would be to separate into our respective breakout rooms. So we have 10 teams, team one, breakout room number one, team two, breakout room number two, so on. The second step in as a team, I'd like for you to choose one section from this article that's found online called Drug Cultures and the Culture of Recovery. Now, this is what the page looks like, and it is rather long. Okay, it's a long document. So what I'd like to do, what I'd like for you to do is, as a team, select one section from this article from this uh, this uh, page. Now, I've included a link to a Word document. This Word document you can find in Microsoft Teams. There are two Word documents that we're going to be working with today. Okay, the first one is called a reading section assignment. Okay, and it looks like this. If you want to go ahead and go into that at this time, go ahead. So the first thing I'd like for you to do in your teams is to choose one of the following sections. Now, I've included the nine different sections from this web page. And your team, I'd like for you to choose one section. Now, I would like that you not choose the same section as another team with the exception there's there's there is one exception all right so we've got nine sections and 10 teams so the idea would be to cover all the sections and the, there there will be one case where one section will be covered by two different teams so as you're discussing with your teammates also pay close attention to make sure that you're not uh, choosing a section that an another team has already chosen. Okay, so it's going to take a little uh, negotiation and just double check to make sure that all of the teams have submitted their sections and we're all fairly clear on which sections we want. Okay, so that'll be the first step is to go in, choose the section. Of course, you want to list your participating team members' names under your section as well. And that will be the first step using this document. Then the next time, the next step is to allow each of your team members to read through the, the section. Okay, depending on how long the section is, depending on how long you need to read through it, give each uh, team member some time to, to read through the article individually. Then report back to your breakout rooms. Begin recording an online session and discuss with your teammates your section. Again, you're going to only focus on your respective section, not the entire document. If you want to read through the rest of the document to understand context, that's fine. But 
the discussion should be specifically about the section that you chose. And I'd like for you to work together as a team to complete a second Word document that's called Cornell Notes. Now let's go back to Teams. The second Word document is called Cornell Notes. Now this is a template, so I'm going to ask first that each of you down, well, one person from each team download this template, this Word document from the General tab right here, and go into your respective breakout rooms under Files, create a new folder. I guess we'll call it week five. And move or copy, I should say, copy and paste that Word document into a week five folder in your respective rooms. Okay, if you guys have technical problems with doing this, let me know. Uh, but I think I would start by having the Cornell note as a Word document in your own breakout room so that maybe one team member share his or her screen and you can all look at the same Word document together as you're discussing uh, your, your reading. All right, so the idea here, guys, is to discuss with your teammates, complete the Cornell Notes, and you'll notice Cornell Notes is a, um, I guess, a popular uh, way of taking notes, and typically it's divided into sections. Okay, so in this case, we have an essential question here along the top. We have main ideas with key words in the left-hand column. In the right-hand column, we have a notes section. And at the bottom, we have a summary. So the idea is to read through the section, discuss with your teammates, and complete these four sections. Now, the order in which you complete these four sections could vary. All right, probably the summary section at the end will be left at the end or at the bottom of the page. That will probably be the last thing that you'll complete. But the essential question, the main ideas, or the notes, you may start with any of these three. Okay, if you want to start first with the notes section, start with the notes section. If you want to start with the main ideas, start with the main ideas or the keywords. It's really up to you, it's up to your team how you want to complete this. But the idea is that you complete one note, one Cornell note, based on your assigned reading uh, as a team. Now the notes, I have, uh, this is a suggestion how I would uh, approach this, okay? Basically we have a list of details, okay? So these are gonna be details that you get from the reading. And I would suggest that you try to write the details, the ideas that are coming from those readings, and reword it, paraphrase it. Okay, so this is in part practice. It's in part a, an exercise in paraphrasing someone else's ideas. So that's what I mean by details. They could be examples. They could be facts or statistics. If you want to think of it like, uh, evidence sentences when you're writing a, a body paragraph according to the meal plan, okay? Basically, the idea is to take some, some details from the reading and paraphrase it. Now, the annotation, this is like uh, a reflection. This is more you inserting ideas as you are reflecting on that particular detail that's coming from another source. Okay, so think of it as a reflection. Um, we, we call these analytic memos, but it's basically just your um, kind of a, a, a place for you to reflect on how this detail, what, what's the relevance. Anything that you want to include uh, is, is fine in terms of annotations. Okay, is, but it's again your ideas about the details that you've collected. Now, 
what I would suggest, if you have more than one main idea, maybe list the main ideas, one, two, three, number them here, and then you could create a list using 1A to refer to a detail that relates to main idea number one. You could have uh, details 2A, details 2B, details. Again, just to reference which details apply to which main ideas. Okay, again, this is if you have more than one main idea. If you just have one, then it's not a, a problem. You can just list out uh, the details. Uh, the essential question, this is one uh, main question that relates best to your section. Okay, so I would try to limit the essential question to one. And again, you can begin <clears throat> in any of these three sections. Okay, so this is the Cornell notes, and uh, this will be the document that you move over to your respective breakout rooms here. Okay, so each breakout room should have a folder called week five, and uh, that's where you'll be able to uh, work in any kind of documents that you need for this week. Of course, then I would keep them in that, uh, that folder. All right, the last step, the last step in completing the task is I would like for you as a team, develop a paragraph, all right, that basically summarizes the information from your Cornell notes. So the idea was to take whatever information you have in your Cornell notes and form a coherent and cohesive paragraph that represents that information. You can discuss this with your teams. You can divide up. Let's say you have a topic sentence. One person has a topic sentence. It really, it's up to you how you want to uh, work as a team. But as a team, one paragraph uh, for each team, not per person. Okay, so we want to try to submit this word, this, I'm sorry, this uh, 150 to 200 word paragraph. I would ask that you submit as a reply to this form. Notice that this is a discussion, so you should have an option to reply. So once you've gone through these prior steps, Submit as a team your your paragraph. And that's basically it. Okay, so we'll have we'll have your response here in the forum. And in Microsoft Teams, please record all of your discussions, even though they're informal, they're very conversational. You're working out your analysis, completing the Cornell notes. But share your screen, record your session. I would prefer that you have your webcams turned on so we can also see your conversations. We can see you discussing your analysis of the text. And again, only one section, just take one section from this text. And I would only ask that you check with your other teams to make sure that uh, that we've got all the sections covered, basically, that we're not repeating uh, any one section, again, with the exception of, of one section. One section will have two teams because of the number of teams that we have. Okay, questions, guys, about the task. No, just thank you. I think the hardest part is going to be coming up with the sections at the very beginning, only because it, we'll have to, yeah, we'll just have to see how that goes. If you guys have questions, let me know. If you have technical issues about getting around these Word documents and Teams, uh, let me know. Uh, if, if there's some confusion about assigning these 
sections, uh, let me know uh, as well. OK, I'd like to give you the rest of today to work on this activity, this uh, task. And uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, I'll mute my mic at this time. We'll close the class as we do at 140. Again, jump in if you have any questions about uh, about today's task. OK, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Um, teacher, my team and I have a situation. Okay. Um, well, it's um, it's me, it's Diana, it's Susie, and it's Fernando. But um, there's also Maria. Wait, I don't remember what her her full name was. Maria del Refugio, but she is no longer um in the BA. So, uh, are we just going to work together together the three of us? Yes, guys, if anyone's not here, um, just go ahead and continue without the the other person. Um, again, make sure you're reaching out. Just say you're starting that you're completing the activity. Record, you know, and try to involve them as much as possible. But yeah, if they're not here in class, uh, go ahead and uh, complete the activity um, uh, on your own without your your teammate teammate. That's fine. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. 